This was a dive session in the Red Sea at De Hub and with my favourite dive outfit, Diverge. And let's start with the Yellowtail Tangs, a beautiful little shoal of Yellowtail Tangs here, moving gracefully through the coral. But it's not many minutes before into the scene comes a green turtle. It's a juvenile green turtle, a small one, look. I love turtles. How, how can you not love a turtle? I spend far too much time following them to photograph them, in this case video them. But they're just so beautiful. Look how gracefully it moves, almost like it's flying. It's called a green turtle, not because of the colour of its shell. The shell on this one's a little bit dirty, actually. It's not showing it off to its best. Sometimes you see a really nice bright shell. It's called a green turtle because it's got a layer of green fat uh, below that shell. Uh, presumably it's green because it spends most of its time eating plants. That's why it's called the green turtle. Here are the banner fish. These are one of my favourite fish. You usually see them in pairs like this. You don't very often see a solitary one. That's because they're one of the few fish in the ocean that actually pair up for life. So you'll always see two of them together. Very rarely anything else. And another one of my favourite fish, it's not on the video, but I'm going to show you um, a still of it here, is the masked butterfly fish. What a beautiful fish that is, isn't it? Here's the blue spotted ribbon tail ray. Why did nature give it these blue spots? I'm so pleased it did, he's, he's a real character. He sits on the ocean floor, um, trying to sense in his prey below the sun. When he finds it, he digs down and then sucks it out. Here's a comic sight. It's gotta be one of the funniest sights you'll see when you're diving. These are striped catfish, and they move across the ocean floor like this in a ball. They're all moving together, look, in synchronicity. Uh, a few go down to feed, the rest stay above. Then a few more go down to feed, and they just move across the ocean floor lines. Sometimes you get bigger balls. So, so funny to watch. Look at this guy. This is the giant puffer fish, and this is what he does. This is how he spends his time, most of his time, rocking backwards and forwards on the ocean floor. To get a good shot of him, I really need to get really low down. Photographing it from above is not going to work. It works for so few fish. So I'm trying to get as low as I can look without touching the coral. Oh, here's a fish coming to the scene. Look, just have a look around. The giant puffer fish. While we're talking about puffer fish, let me show you my favourite puffer fish. This is the porcupine puffer fish. And this has to be one of the cutest fish you will see. It's those great big eyes. Looks like a puppy dog eyes, aren't they? I think it's such a cute, lovable character. A real characterful fish, I think it is. A porcupine puffer fish. Now let's play spot the fish. Can you see a fish in this scene? No? Let me give you a clue. It's there. And boy do you need to see it. This is the stonefish. This is the most poisonous fish in the ocean. Uh, it gets stabbed by its spines. It's enough poison to kill a human being. Not so these guys though. Anemone fish. This is Clark's anemone fish. Probably the most common anemone fish you'll come across. Um, bobbing about backwards and forwards on its anemone. I spend a lot of time photographing these guys. I, I never pass one without trying to get a few shots. I just think it's a lovely scene. I think anemones are beautiful in themselves. And so to see these little fish darting backwards and forwards, absolutely fantastic. Clark's anemone fish. Really common sign in the Red Sea for sure. As we head back towards the shore, it's the end of the dive, we get up into the shallows, loads of life in the shallows. Look at this lovely shoal of diagonal butterfly fish. What a gorgeous fish that is, isn't it? And of course, we get back out of the water in exactly the same way we got in. We walk out. Now here we are at the end of the dive, walking back. Happy, happy days.